Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lawson Bakuri and today we're talking about seven signs God is preparing you to work for him. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified of all amazing videos I post per week that will be great to your life in general. <music> A lot of persons have the calling of God upon their life in different aspects of their life. They call into academics, they call into different aspects just to work for God. But they find it very difficult to understand so and they are confused. Well, in today's video, we'll be sharing with you seven signs God is preparing you to work for Him. Yes, these signs will enable you to understand your person better. Now let's get to it. Number one on our list is confusion in finding your part. First of all, there is this confusion in finding your part when God is calling you to a specific part. You are always confused. You're like, I don't understand myself. I don't know where I'm going to. I don't know where I'm heading to. I don't know where I'm coming from, from where I'm going to. Yes, it is normal. The confusion is there. You are, the disciples were all fishermen until God brought them in their part. Saul was once a tent maker. At the same time, he was a lawyer until God brought him in his part. So it is normal to be confused, but God will definitely bring you to your part. That's that. Number two is dependence on God in trying to find your part. Now, you in the midst of a confusion, you realize that words from people are not bringing the solution and all of that. Even sometimes books might not really bring the solution. The only solution will only come from your total dependence on God in finding the part. That is why it's advisable you become dependent on God to find a path because while you are confused to find a path, only God can unravel the mystery behind your destiny. So it's either you become dependent on Him finding a path or you become lost in shadows. Until Saul became dependent on God, he couldn't find his path. Until Jonah became dependent on God, she, he, couldn't, he couldn't go to Nineveh. So you have to become dependent on God in finding a path. That's number two sign. Number three is excelling in different fields, but not deriving satisfaction. Now we realize that, okay, yeah, you're trying to find your path. Okay, let me say, you have been trying different things, you have been trying different fields, at the same time, you are doing different, you are good in so many things, but yet you're not deriving satisfaction. You're not failing at, at doing those things, you are doing so well in them, but yet you're not finding satisfaction in them. That is God telling you that you don't belong here until I show you where you're meant to be. Now that is the sign, one of the key signs that actually you have the calling of God upon your life because you might be excelling in everything, but some persons might be excelling in impacting life, excelling in doing academics, all of that, but that is not giving them satisfaction. They realize that, that it is innate something that is missing. That is God telling you to depend on me and I will show you that who you truly are. Now, number four on our list is the right to impact life. Now, impact is of different kinds. So persons have the right to impact life in academics. So persons have the impact, the right to impact life in, in different aspects of their life. But now you have the right to impact life in so winning. How do I mean? Even if you are good academically, but you just, even your academics are trying in a way, still want to challenge it to bring his souls to God. Then this specifically means you have the calling of God upon your life to work for him, to serve him because your impact is not in the business. Your impact is not in the academy. Your impact is to bring souls to God. You have the calling of God upon your life to bring souls to Him. That is a clear sign you have the calling of God upon your life. Now, when you see this sign, you know you have the calling of God upon your life. And number five is revelation. God said, out of your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were formed, I knew you. That was what? Jeremiah. Revelations are there. You, there could be revelations upon your life even before you are born. People might have told their parents, okay, this person will be so, 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 so. Some of these revelations are correct, yes. Some of them might not be correct, yes. But there are specific revelations upon your life that God cannot go back on his words. Of. Sometimes God can even give you these revelations to you directly. These are signs that you have the calling of God upon your life. God gave the parents of Jeremiah revelations on Jeremiah before Jeremiah was even born. Now, you could be another person that... There's a revelation upon your life before you were born. He to it and that, and God will definitely bring it to pass because God has given the revelation. Why would he bring it to pass? That is number five sign you have the calling of God upon your life. And number six on our list is prophecies and hunger for God. Yes, there was a prophecy hanging over the head of John the Baptist before he was born. God prophesied it through his servant that John the Baptist was a blessed child. God, the prophecy was hanging. Now you could have this prophecy hanging over your head and you're like, okay, my, there is a prophecy hanging over my head, but how am I sure it can even come to pass? Yes, God that gave the prophecy obviously will bring it to pass. Now when there is a prophecy hanging over your head, that is a clear sign that you have the calling of God upon your life. And you should endeavor to just depend on God like the other signs when God is trying to make you to be dependent. Depend on him because that is the only way you can manifest who you truly are meant to be through God. Verse 7 is, Finding satisfaction in finding God. 
ha, ah, you finally start doing the things of God. I, you all of a sudden begin to feel like this is where I truly belong. This is me. This is everything I stand for. Then you've actually found your purpose. You found your calling and you found what God wants you to do for him. Don't forget to subscribe because I know this video helped you. And don't forget to hit the notification button to be notified of all amazing videos I post per week. That would be great to your life in general.